Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 49 of Direwolf 20's Let's Play series. I am desperately low on Draconium Dust. I don't have much at all. I've got a couple of little Draconium type gadgets, but if we want to play more Draconic Evolution, we're going to need a lot more of this stuff. Uh, for that reason, and that reason alone, I wouldn't mind getting some kind of teleportation ability. Now, we do have dislocators, which are cool, requires four draconium dust. What's the advanced dislocator? So the advanced dislocator requires wyvern tier crafting. It's definitely something I'd like to get my hands on, but it's also definitely something outside the scope of our abilities based on the fact that we're going to need a wyvern core and four draconium units to craft it. And we're also going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, wyvern fusion crafting injectors which each of requires a draconium block and two draconic cores and a wyvern core so all this times eight it's a lot it's a lot of expensiveness um so there's four in that there's what like we're gonna need a lot of draconium to get to the wyvern tier of things uh and draconium is not easy to come by um there's a couple options we have so one we can run our quarry which will get us some draconium Right? Not a ton, but some. Um, but that's just kind of like sitting around and waiting, and it's boring. Option two, um, we could try and create an RF Tools dimension that has lots of draconium in it. That's an option. Uh, but that's extremely expensive in terms of power usage, and I don't know that we have the power to support it. Uh, also, we don't have the stuff to do that yet. Um, out of curiosity, with RF tools, we've got one dimlet parcel, and we've been killing a lot of Endermen over here, haven't we? Is this Endermen or Wither? I forget which one's which. I think this is Endermen. I would expect Endermen to drop dimlet parcels. Dungeon chests. Hmm. Also, why are you so slow, Endermen? This one's paused. Probably because I don't have the Octodic Capacitor in there anymore. Yeah, there it is. Cool. Uh, out of I'm just curious if we're getting Dimlet parcels from Endermans. Because that's one way to get some custom things. We can also make a, a random RF Tools dimension and kind of explore it to find some Dimlet stuff. But I'm looking for a way to automate those. Probably for more future type work. Um, but... The third option for getting Draconic Dust, uh, which in my opinion is uh, the way we're going to go right now, because yes, is to go over to the end, I know, hold your horses, and, oh, it's getting dark out, do some looking around. Now I'm going to try and avoid the Enderman and the End Dragon in the end at all costs, right? I'm going to go in there, um, and I'm going to do all kinds of crazy stuff to try and make it so that we don't have an encounter that we don't want to have. Uh, so that's running Dimlet Parcels. I'm just curious if we get more Dimlet Parcels from this. Right? It would be cool if we were. Not yet. Ender Pearls we're getting for sure. And Enderman heads we should be getting a lot of. We've got three. Corn and four Ender Pearls. Corn and six. So yeah, we're definitely collecting the drops that are in there. But no Dimlet parcels. I'm going to keep an eye on that. Anyway, let's head over. Here's what I'm going to do. Here's the plan for today. I'm going to make a Matter Transmitter that will get us. Uh, do we have a Matter Transmitter yet? We only have a Matter Receiver set up, right? Uh, we don't have transmitters yet. So let's make Matter Transmitters and a dialing device and a receiver. Um, so to make these, we're going to need a matter transmitter, we're going to need a matter receiver, and we're going to need a dialing device. Um, that's all cool. The matter transmitter and dialing device can sit anywhere in our base, really. Here's probably transmitter, good enough. And dialing device, cool. Now, uh, the transmitter is going to be dire base. We're going to name it that. And the transmitter can teleport us to receivers. It's that easy. Um, simply by choosing the transmitter on the top, this on the bottom, and hit dial. Dialing device, power low. Oh, no. We're going to have to resolve that. 
easily. So conduits, sticking with our top tier energy conduits, this is where we're kind of hanging out at the moment. Nice. And I might even configure you just to prevent any mix-ups. I don't want like any kind of power loops occurring. So you've got power now. We can dial this guy to here and say what now? Dialing device power low. Oh, this thing needs power. Haha. -ha. Um, maybe I want him to be on the floor. Um, so there's two things we could do here. We could have a facade. Do we have any facades? Conduit binder. Can you get me like 10 of these? Things are a lot easier, by the way, to craft now that I set up the cobble works and we have nigh unlimited gravel sand and whatnot. Sweet. Let's do it with the facade method. So we're gonna painting machine this guy with a facade. Bump, 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 bump. And you're gonna be here and then we will have a dialing device. Yeah, I forgot this guy needs power too. Cool. Like it. All right, now we can dial these guys. Oh, and if you double click, it'll highlight the receiver. I just learned that. Poof! We teleported. Which is not super exciting considering we have a charged porter that can do the exact same thing. But uh, why this is exciting, by the way, I can interrupt it if I want and turn it off, is now that I can go place another matter receiver somewhere else in the world and we can teleport to it. The only thing is we're going to need to power it. So what's a good remote option for powering? Um, so I don't think it needs a whole lot of power. So let's do this. Do I have a capacitor? That's a million, that's a million, that's a million, that's a million. A million RF seems like a decent amount of power. Oh, there's my octodic capacitor. Um, can we make a five million RF capacitor easily enough? I mean, I wanna say yes. So if I did this, this, and a double layer in the middle, and energetics, times 10. I could probably just get myself a quick 5 million, and I don't think I'm going to be using this receiver enough that that will ever be a problem. Um, and if it is a problem, we'll deal with it in the future. At that point, by the time it becomes a problem, making dimensional transceivers should be trivial for us, and we'll just, you know, whatever, right? Um, so energetic, we're up to 4. Zoinks. Five, and then just one more and we'll have a tier five. I don't know if it retains the RF that's in there, but to be honest, two million RF isn't the end of the world for me. It does, well that's exciting. And luckily, because we have a uh, thingy that charges things wirelessly for us, it's automatically charging. So we'll let this thing fill up and then it's gonna be the capacitor bank that will charge the matter receiver over at the end portal. Cool, and that's what we're gonna do. And then we have an easy way to get to and from uh, the end portal whenever we want. Now, in the past, I had to do this crazy adventure with boats. Now I've got flight and speed and all kinds of other good stuff. So I'm just gonna fly over there. Um, do I have the waypoints set up for, I don't. Didn't I set up a waypoint for that thing? Um, yeah, I think it was just off in this general direction. I'm gonna go find it. I know it was out here somewhere. And then we'll be back. Good thing I have my videos backlogged on my computer. I was able to look up the XY coordinates of where the send portal was. Finally found it. Added it to the old neat uh, waypointy system here. Um, okay, cool, this was just this. Uh, added it to journey map. I'm guessing at some point throughout my play series, journey map uh, lost its settings and whatnot, but that's okay. We can get down here. Hey, look, there's a creeper. Come to visit. What's up, buddy? Down this path. Hey, there we go. Nice, that's what I want. Awesome. Hello, bat. Goodbye, bat. All right, so what I'm going to do is put away some junk I don't need, and we will set up the matter receiver with the capacitor bank under it. Uh, it doesn't really matter where we put this, so... Put it... You know what we can do? What would be cool is put it right here. Nice and centered in the room. So with this guy, we'll call it end portal. Okay. Um, and that should be cool. I don't think I need to chunk load this area, but we're about to test that. So, you're set. If I 
teleport home, poof, I can now dial this guy to the end portal. If you do dial once, by the way, it dials it and then closes the connection immediately afterwards. And look, I was able to teleport right back. Sweet. All right, so flight, ability to get home, pretty much all I'm worried about for getting around in the end. What I'm gonna do now is jump into the portal. All right, now listen, End Dragon and Enderman. I'm here on a mission of peace. Okay, I have no quarry with you. Just letting you know that. Okay, dude? No quarry. All right, so I'm gonna go look for the meteorites that spawn in the end. Uh, I will be back in a minute once I find one. I see something in the distance. I believe I found what I'm looking for. Dun 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 dun. This is a meteor. I don't know, they come in different sizes and I don't know particularly um, if this is a large or a small sized one. Couldn't tell you. Um, but this is what you're looking for. This is a meteor in the end. Pretty neat actually, world gen uh, design. I like it. Um, I wish I could break things a little bit easier while flying. It's not the easiest thing in the world to do. But hey, I just got like 11 draconium dust. So fortune is working in my favor. Nice, five from that one. So you get decent amounts of draconium dust once you find draconium. And like I said, you'll find a lot of it in this end stuff. So comp, look, already 32. So what I'm gonna do is mine this out for a little bit. Sorry, Enderman. You're standing where I wanna do stuff. Um, and then we'll come back, uh, back at my base once I've found, uh, or at least cleared out all the draconium in this thing. And then Hopefully in the future, as we need more and more draconium, we can find more efficient ways to go about doing what I'm currently doing. All right, back in a moment. I gotta say, these endermen are awfully interested in what I'm doing out here. Look guys, I'm just harvesting a little draconium. Calm down. Endermen, please. All right, peaceful. Not here to bother you. Not here to start any wars. Just harvesting a little bit of draconium for your dimension. Look, ain't nothing going wrong here. Stop teleporting around and staring at me like I've done something. I haven't looked at you. All right, guys. I think I've gotten a decent amount of the the draconium in this in this meteorite. I mean, there's there's probably a little bit more that I missed. Like I didn't get every single little piece, but I got a lot of it. Um, and to be fair, I got like one, two, three, four, five, six and a half stacks. That ain't bad, guys. That ain't bad at all. Um, so that's draconium for a little bit. That should hold us over for some time. Um, it's not a ton, uh, cause you do actually need a lot of this stuff to get some of the more advanced items in Draconic Evolution, but it'll do for now. So let's get out of here before these endermen really start getting upset. And the good news is I can get home and now I can easily get back to the end. And I didn't, I purposely didn't bookmark that location because it's pretty much exhausted of draconium dust, right? If I'm going to go back there and get more, I'll just fly around again and find more. Um, so that's cool. So we've got draconium now, 438, not a bad amount of dust. So now let's look into upgrading our crafting injectors to fusion crafting injectors. So as we noticed, 256,000 RF total cost to upgrade these guys. So we're gonna need, in the end, we're gonna need nine of these, right? So we're gonna need nine wyvern cores and 18 draconic cores and 36 diamonds. What's our diamond situation looking like? Uh, that seemed better days, um, but that's okay. I think we're good. So 36. I mean, for now, how about we upgrade eight of them? Would that be cool? Yeah, I think that's cool. There's, there's a few, I mean, we might as well. For one more, that's fine. Okay. So um, for wyvern crafting injectors, we're going to need nine wyvern cores and 18 draconic cores. So nine wyvern cores which by the way, costs nine nether stars. Awesome. Let's go get ourselves another nether star. Push button, spawn weather, anybody? Poof. We are out of all the things. What is our skeleton situation like? So we're gonna want this on. Okay. Um, weather skeleton skulls. Oh yeah, we're good on with the skeleton skulls and sand. Nice. So while I'm setting this up, I'm gonna tell you guys a funny story. If you follow me on Twitter, you'll probably know 
that I updated my PC recently. I got a new computer and some other cool stuff. Really loving it. I'll post the specs or something for you guys so you can see what I picked up. Um, basically got a new motherboard and CPU and RAM and stuff. Did a whole backup of my computer before I upgraded. Did a bunch of things in preparation for upgrading. And then like an idiot, recorded a video. And um, like last episode was recorded after I backed up my world save before I formatted my computer. So between so last episode's content I still had the video I recorded, but the world save I had lost. So I was like lost. So I don't know if you noticed, but like in here I had to switch into cheat mode because basically I like deleted a bunch of resources like Draconium and like rebuilt everything that I did last episode real fast between recording before recording this episode. So if there's discrepancies in my world that you notice, like I think I put stuff in here and like probably didn't replace that. Probably something you'll notice. So I thought you guys would enjoy that funny story. All right, cool. So you're ready to roll now. So yeah, it was fun. I logged in and I'm like, really? I lost a whole episode's worth of content? Like that's not cool. Now in theory, I should be able to spawn multiple of these guys at once. And you should have no problem. Nice. Yeah, you're not having any problems maintaining that. That is super cool. And you over here should be getting picked up. All right, good deal. So as long as I'm not standing right next to that thing with a magnet, I'm all right. How cool is that? Huh? Not bad, right? Four withers at once? <laughs> awesome. That is super cool. I love it. I love it. Come here, experience. Come here, nether stars. <laughs> I love automating stuff and just having it work beautifully. Push button, get nether star. You can't go wrong. All right, uh, I just put away all my diamonds that I meant to have on me. So that's cool. And back to Draconic. So Wyvern, we're going to need nine Wyvern cores. Start that process up. And while that's going, we're also going to need Draconic cores times 18. Start that process up, which uses more diamonds, by the way. So I'm probably really close to wanting to turn back on my um, deep dark mining system. I think it's a good idea, right? Um, how's this thing doing, by the way? We're doing all right. Okay, so we've got some things happening. Nice. Part of me kind of wants to teach it how to make draconic blocks, but yeah, we'll deal with it. Let's come back when crafting's complete. All right, I think I'm ready to do this. So let's party. Let's take a nap and then we'll party. So let's take a look at the Draconic Infusion Crafting stuff. So here's one of the tricks, right? Um, you can put multi-stacks into these injectors, right? So when you put nine in here, there's like nine diamonds sitting in there. Keep that in mind. One of the other things I've noticed if you break these fusion crafting injectors while there's items in them, you have the potential to lose items. And that's a bad time that nobody wants to enjoy. Um, so, or endure, I guess, would be the, the correct word. And uh, that's pretty much it. So here's how it works, right? It's very similar to like the old Thalmcraft infusion system or even the actually additions infusion system. You place items on the outer edges, you supply power, and you place an item in the center and the item in the center is modified by the items on the outside so all you have to do is place it in here and hit start or give it a redstone signal hintity hint hint for those looking to automate this and boom it starts charging now um what you're gonna find here is assuming that i remember to set up my crystal binders yes uh the energy that's required is going to come from the basic energy relay crystal we set up last episode the wireless one so this is wireless energy crystal and you can see these things uh it's charging up the rf it's building up that 256,000 rf once it's got it the crafting can begin so the items have been infused with rf power and now it's doing the actual crafting process. You see it went from uh, the, the, the powering up stage to the infusing stage, and then we're in good shape. Now, even though it looks like these are empty, those eight items that remain, it was nine before, remember now it's eight, still remain. Cool, so that's a good deal. And we now have liftoff. Boom. How cool is that? First Wyvern tier crafting. 
right? So then what I'm gonna do is take this off here and do the next step, right? So the next one is gonna be crafted, we'll hit start. It's gonna charge up. RF is gonna come flowing in from our wireless energy crystal, which is coming across from here. Nice. Um, and that's it. We're upgrading to Wyvern tier. Now remember, any Draconic crafting that you wanna do will tell you what tier you need to be at. And the tier is indicative of which in fusion injectors you have, right? So the white ones are basic, the purple ones are, are Wyvern. Uh, Draconic fusion, um, or, or Wyvern tier here, right? You can see that. So um, if you wanna make these guys, and there's a Chaos one, but I don't think this is implemented yet. Um, energy costs, by the way, are pretty darn high. You can hit show recipes here and see all the recipes that are available. Cool. Um, there's lots and 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 lots of recipes. But they're all pretty cool and fun. Um, so to get an awakened core, you do that. And yeah, there's some things. We will probably wind up automating this down the way. Um, awakened blocks, by the way, I want to point out to you guys, are four draconium blocks, cores, a dragon heart, you have to kill a dragon for it, and 350 million RF. Lots of RF. Pretty crazy. Um, you seem to be paused at 87%. What's up with that? Are you low on power? No. Wireless links, you're good. Oops. One of the good news things is if you interrupt the crafting, the, the charge remains the same. So let me just go double check that we don't have any power issues going on right now. Looks like you are okay. So we'll come back in a sec. Oh, haha. So once you do this, don't forget to rebind it to that. That's why it was stuck at 87%. This guy wasn't getting any power. Derpy dire. So, I mean, I guess that makes sense, right? 87%, that's about one eighth. Cool. All right, so uh, yeah, I forgot to hook up my new fusion crafter to the power system so that power. So I think what I'm gonna do now is off camera, craft the rest of these into Wyvern tier, and then we will be back. Sound cool? All right, see you guys in just a moment. 80%, 90%, ah. All right guys, we're back and it looks like we're doing the last infusion craft. Sweet. So this will be the very last crafting process to be done. And it's getting to be dark out. So let's go home for a quick nap. Whoosh. Uh, so my plan now, so I'm debating if I wanna make that thing over there's crafting. Um, so we could make this fancy advanced dislocator, which is cool. Requires the wyvern tier, requires a wyvern core, eight million RF. This thing can hold fuel so it doesn't need power it needs ender pearls to fuel it so i think i could do this i think that sounds like a good plan so three ender pearls let's get uh one of these dudes uh we're gonna want blaze powder and an eye of ender cool should be able to get me this didn't i tell you to just make an eye of ender okay cool it was just taking a minute it's probably making the blaze dust would be my guess. Um, so that's cool. Then we want to check the uses of this. We can use it to make a magnet, which is cool. Three under pearls, wyvern core, four draconium dust, or uh, four of these guys, right? So four of you. And it was, which core? The purple one, the wyvern core, which requires another star. Not a big deal. Uh, requires lots of draconium, which is probably cooking. How's this thing doing? Resources? Anybody? Did we completely clear that area out? I wouldn't be surprised. We might go check on that in a minute, but Wyvern Core? And then it should be as easy as coming over here I've got you, you can be placed, give you power. You're going in the center. Now one of the annoying things about this is when you want to craft, you have to do this. It won't only put one item at a time in here. Uh, I might automate this at some point to where it'll probably just do like single item 
with the piping from uh, extra utilities. So that should be cool. So now we're charging. So notice how the charging time, okay, cool, started going, nice. Um, not that bad, seems a little bit quicker, right? Because advanced dislocator, eight million RF. So that's not terrible. Um, this thing, there's really no limit to how much power it can transfer. So it's gonna be quick no matter what. Provided you have enough power, obviously. The limit is coming from this guy. 25,000 RF a tick. That's your limiting factor right there. Um, once we have this thing, I'm gonna charge it up with enderpearls and then we're gonna go visit the deep dark and see what's happening. Poof, okay. So advanced dislocator is cool. It requires enderpearls to work. Basically, every time you use it, it uses an enderpearl. And to charge it, um, see how it says fuel zero? We just um, add fuel and it'll add one. Shift click to add a stack. Cool, and it'll yell at you if you're out of ender pearls. Message.teleporter out of pearls.txt. Cool. Um, so we can set up destinations very easily, uh, and it'll remember your location. So like, and your direction, right? So if we add a new location, we'll call it home, and commit. You can see all that stuff. You can rename it. You can update it to set it here, and you can lock it to prevent yourself from accidentally deleting that location. Now, anywhere we are in the world, right click, boom, I'm teleported to that location facing in that direction, exactly where I was when I set the binding. Cool, right? Uh, it also used up a piece of fuel, so now we only have 63 fuel. If we wanna go to the deep dark, hint I do, because I wanna go see if my quarry's done down there, and now I have a decision to make. Um, basically, I wanna decide how I'm gonna quarry going forward. Uh, so deep dark's nice, I wanna go, oof. Okay, let's set up our deep dark location like right about here, right? So we're gonna do add new, deep dark, commit, and we're good, right? So now, um, I think you can shift and mouse wheel to switch locations, or you can shift, right click, and right click on whatever you wanna teleport to. Cool, right? So if you want to teleport home, not a problem, we teleported home. And if we shift right click and right click on deep dark, we teleport to deep dark. Or you can mouse wheel, uh, hold shift and mouse wheel and you see on the bottom right, it's telling you where you're going. If you just right click the tool, um, you'll wind up going to that location. Neat, right? So I'm gonna assume that your work is done here. Stop. I assume that means that you have quarried out a heck of a lot of stuff in the deep dark. So now we have a decision point, okay? It's, a, it's an important decision point, so let's update lighting. Thank you. Um, we get to decide at this point how we want to quarry going forward in the world. We can relocate this builder so that it quarries another big chunk of terrain. That's option one. Or we can look into the quantum quarry Dun, 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 which comes from extra utilities. Now we haven't used this up to this point because the quantum quarry requires another star, but now we have another stars, so we're cool. Uh, quantum quarry is neat, uh, it's really neat. We're also going to need end rods, which require chorus fruit to make. I could probably get that though, right? It spawns in the end. It spawns for one of those little doohickeys, right? Um, can I fly to one of those islands or do I have to teleport to them? I don't know. Uh, so that's an option, right? Decision points. Not really sure how I'm gonna wanna go with that. Um, but what I do know is that that is not my staff of traveling that teleports me through the floor. We can turn this off because we're not, we're not mining anymore. Um, did we process all the ore that we got, by the way? We haven't, we have a lot of ore backlog to process. Diamonds, could probably use more. So quantum quarries are neat. So basically what they do is the quantum quarry has its own specialized dimension and it automatically mines and then regenerates and remines the same chunk over and over. And the chunk is randomly generated each time and it's also a random um, biome. So like it might be a desert biome for a minute and then it'll clear out the chunk with the mining and then it'll be a forest biome and you'll get some wood and then it'll be a plains biome and you'll get some tall grass, right? Like it just over and over mines the same chunk in this dimension. 
from your point of view, all it does is sit there and generate resources by giving it power. I like it because it's kind of a set and forget kind of method. Like you set it up once and then you're done. But I don't like it because it's literally just feed me power, I give you items. And it's like uh, a little boring. So I haven't decided if I want to do the Quantum Quarry or not in the series. But it might be uh, a good option to go with. And it's in terms of power usage, it's not terrible. Um, by the way, since we're here, we are at 39% power left in that thing. This is cool. You're... Why do you have so much? Oh, I forgot to put. Yeah, nice. Way to go, direwolf. I forgot to put the filter on it. Remember, I said I had to redo a couple things that I did last episode. I might have missed a step or two. Ah, uh, so transfer filter. Boom. Totally might have missed a step or two. As I was recreating last episode's progress in my world save. Single item, good to go. B. Wellington, you can go away, nice. And since I'm always using more power than that B. Wellington is generating, like it's not probably too big of a deal that that was happening. Um, how did you get down there? Oh. Anyway, um, I think we need to wrap up the episode though. Let's see if I'm right about that. Yes, my suspicions were correct. It is wrapping up point. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to debate whether or not I want to set up a quantum quarry next episode or just relocate my deep dark quarry probably in between episodes is what I'd wind up doing um if I decide to relocate the deep dark quarry uh I'll just do that and then I'll come back and say that's what I did cool uh I'm gonna get a few more nether stars because who doesn't want more nether stars in their life right how funny is this boom die withers die give me your stars uh, for now, wrapping up point, Darrell 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.